Welcome back to another video and today I want to add a custom character because well I need a lot of animations for the future when we are going to add guns and since I'm very bad with creating animations I'm going to use animations from the Mixamo site and basically the way you would hold a melee weapon or a pistol or a rifle or whatever would be totally different from one another uh, so we're going to need a lot of animations for all of those we're going to work on those in the next video so make sure you gather up your animations right now I have this guy right here so this will be my character and so let's let's start working on this just as a reference what I'm gonna also do is open up our current character so this would be in the mannequin and in the character the mesh and I all I need is the skeleton because we need to recreate all of these sockets that we have right here on this character and also I will add a few more sockets for the future because well we're gonna use a lot of different weapons and we need multiple slots for those so I'm gonna have a melee weapon on one side a rifle on the other side and perhaps a pistol on the side as well so let's start we need the weapon and arm slots so let's do that let's go to our new character skeleton and let's start adding those so just like I mentioned previously uh, we need to use a bone which is going to which is the one before so if I want to add an arm piece over here I need to use this bone which moves that part so I'm gonna right click, right forearm, add a socket and so this was the arm one and what I would probably suggest to you is changing the preview of controls from default to using a specific animation and have some kind of an animation so I'm gonna have a uh, let's say a running animation so my guy is running I'm gonna stop it midway so that I would be able to adjust this properly and to adjust this what you want to do is add a preview of mesh so in my case this is gonna be my wrist piece right here and these meshes well they were not built for this specific character so we're gonna have a few issues so let me show you what I mean with that as you can see it's somewhat in its location but it's too small so what I will do is you have two options you can either make your equipment bigger in the equipment actor or you can select the socket and its properties you can change the relative scale so let's say I want it to be 1.1 and let's see if this works still seems a bit too small for me so I'm gonna make this even bigger so well I've adjusted this a little bit it's still not perfect and I don't really know if I'm able to make this perfect because well these meshes were not made for this character so I'm gonna stick with this and then let's go to the other forearm let's add another socket on this one and this is the arm too and then let's add another preview of mesh and let's adjust this and let's make sure that we set the same values so the 1.3 in the scaling so now I feel like my meshes are in the correct position so the next thing would be in the hand we added a socket to our left forearm now we need some sockets in the arm so let's add a socket and that is going to be our weapon one and actually let's see here on the lower left these are two so we actually need to so this is the in the left arm this is the arm two and this is the weapon two so let's make sure we need name those correctly so this was actually the arm one so we have the weapon slot add this guy right here and now let's see what do we need to do with this so we probably want to rotate this this way move it in his hand and by default I want to leave this socket be right here and I will adjust the depth of the weapon so this axis right here in the actor itself I'm not gonna move it here because if I do this uh, my weapons uh, the, the guns might be in a weird positioning so I will make sure to place that back in the middle of the hand like so seems to be just about right and now let's add another one for the other hand so right hand add socket let's name this weapon one let's add another preview on this one
now we need the armor piece so I believe the spine the regular spine should be the location so let's add a socket let's call this armor let's add our preview mesh and that would be this one so let's adjust this to 90 degrees and probably something like this seems to be about right but well of course we're gonna run into quite a few issues with the assets not being really made for this character so we again in this case I'm gonna make this a little bigger so 1.1 and well this is gonna look quite big on this guy but well I don't have any other assets so I'm gonna stick with these ones There we go, so I've adjusted that one as well. Now we have two more, we need the backpack, so probably the backpack should go a little higher, somewhere around over here. So let's make sure we add that one. So we have the backpack. Let's make sure we use the same name. So this is the backpack socket. So let's make sure this is a backpack socket. Let's add again a preview. Let's use our backpack. And if you remember remember from the previous videos, this socket is quite big. And in the details, we changed this to be a one, uh, not the socket, but the mesh itself is quite big. So let's make sure we set this to 0.1 to be in the correct scaling. And then we can adjust the backpack to the location we want it to be in. There we go. Now let's add another socket on the same location in the spine. Spine 02, add a socket. And this is our back slot socket, I believe that was the name. Back weapon, back weapon. So make sure, make sure to have the correct naming. Otherwise, well, the system might break and it might not work the way we want it to. And so let's adjust this. So there we go, I've adjusted my sockets. Now, one issue that I will face in the future, why I must use different back sockets, uh, is going to be my weapon placement. Because um, my assets do not have the same positioning and rotation. So let me show you the assets that I'm gonna be using for the weapons. So in the assets folder, I have the military weapon back dark this is available for free on marketplace i'm going to mention this again in the next videos uh, when we add these weapons actually to the game as you can see if we open this up it is looking towards us but if we would open up the assets for my weapons so the battle axes well they are facing totally in a different way they are upside uh, standing up and facing to the right side uh, so the sockets might not work the way we probably want them to. So for this socket then for those weapons I'm gonna go again to the spine 02 add a socket and let's call this rifle socket. Let's add a preview of mesh and in this case I want to look for a rifle so I have my assault rifle so let's add that and let's see where is it there it is so by default this the positioning looks the rotation looks quite good so let's just simply adjust this and in my case this is going to be standing like so and now let's add another socket for our weapon and for our weapon I'm going to use I believe this spine bone uh, probably not maybe even hips yeah, so this is rotating the whole mesh. So yeah, I'm, I might use the hips. So let's add a socket to the hips and let's call this pistol socket. Let's add a preview on this one. And this is the uh, pistol one. So let's look for our pistol. There is my pistol. And let's see, let's move this out. And this seems to be a good somewhat decent position in my case. So we've added all of the sockets that were needed. So this seems to be quite good in my case. 
And now since we've done this successfully, now that means we can go to our third person character, blueprints. Let's open up our character, let's go to the view of port, let's select our mesh and let's change our skeleton from the SK mannequin to our to our character. So this is going to be my guy, let's compile and save this and let's now try to test this out. Of course, as of right now, this guy doesn't have any animations yet, but that doesn't really uh, matter as much as of right now. So let's try to get some weapons, see if they replicate properly. Let's add an armor piece. There we go. We have an armor piece. We have our weapons like so. There we go. Looks good so far. Uh, so as of right now, since I don't have any animations, the assets, uh, the armor piece is a little bit off, but well, once I have the proper animations, that's the point where I will actually try to adjust these to be set up properly. As of right now, it doesn't really make much sense for us to adjust these for the T-pose because in the animation, our character is going to look a little bit different. So our weapon swapping is working as well. It doesn't really display the animation because we don't have one, but I'm gonna set it up so this was quite a quick video for this episode that's going to be it we're gonna have another video tomorrow where we are actually going to work on the animation blueprint uh, I want to make that into a separate video that will include the animations for our future guns as well uh, because well I want to make this into a separate video so that we can begin from right from the beginning from the creating the actual animation blueprint adding movement and adding specific custom animations for our weapons so like always thank you for watching Make sure to join my Discord where you can get a lot of help developing your projects. And I see you in the next video.